see, you have to know and understand this. As human beings who are living upon this earth, we all are going to go through some hardship, some pain, some trial, some test. We all are. You have to make up your mind and that you know that you know that you know no matter what you go through, no matter, no matter how bad it gets for you or for your loved ones, that God still loves you and God is still there. He will never leave you or forsake you just like he said he would not do in his word. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8, the word of God says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6 states, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Joshua chapter 1 verse 5 states, No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 states, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For your Lord will, for your Lord, your God will be with you wherever you go. You have to know that you know that no matter what you go through, no matter how things look and how things seem, God, Jesus Christ is with you. You're never alone. Don't allow your mind to fool you and tell you you're alone. You're in it by yourself. That's a lie. Don't believe those lies. Know that you know that you know that God is with you. And everything is going to be okay as long as you have him. Hold on to Jesus. Stay at his feet. Stay humbly at his feet. And continue to cry out to him. Continue to look to him. Continue to praise him and worship him. Continue to study and meditate on his word. What word? Scriptures like I'm just, I just read to you. Scriptures on peace. Scripture on renewing your strength. Scripture on who he is so you can know who your God is. So you can know who your Savior is, your protector is, your deliverer is, your provider is. Study his word. Study the whole Bible. God bless you.